Hi, I'm Kyle Ott, and you're watching Desks and Dorks. And in my hand, I hold a binder of magic cards. Now, this binder has sat in my basement, gathering dust for about a year now. It's full of bulk rares from a uh, time that I used to play, and, you know, I haven't really given it much thought. So, these cards, these creatures, everything in here has sort of languished inside of these pages. But I was watching a YouTube program the other day, and it actually pointed out that in the hands of an experienced storyteller, this binder, these cards, can become something really special. So, in the spirit of this idea, I flipped through my binder, I pulled three random magic cards, and I'm going to be generating adventure, monster, or villain hooks. I hope you enjoy. In a distant, far-off land, in a laboratory powered by lightning and magic, toils an evil scientist. Unbeknownst to this madman, all that he has done, all of his work, everything that he has wrought, is for nothing. What he thinks is actually bringing new life into the world is him simply repeating the exact same time loop over and over and over again. When the players stumble upon his lightning-filled fortress, what they really are finding is a man caught in the same day of the same year of the same life thousands upon thousands of times over. To make matters worse, his castle is filled with unholy monstrosities, beings powered by the exact same lightning magic that he uses. Unbeknownst to the scientist and to the players, these are not different creatures. These are the scientist himself in all of the versions of this day where he perished. We've talked about demons before in this channel, and one of the things that we have continually mentioned is the idea of contracts. But what happens when a group of demons makes a contract not with a human, but with the world they live in? The players, either by stumbling upon some ancient tome or some magical artifact, find themselves in a world where the demons are contractually bound to fight one another. Born, bred, and a part of an incredible, never-ending, gladiatorial deathmatch. These demons will continually duke it out until the players can either do one of two things. They can either help one of the demons find a way out of this world, thus voiding the entire contract, or they can play the demons against one another and they can rise to become the champions of their own dark world. In a vaguely different setting, a king's menagerie has gone entirely awry. A ruler, obsessed with the notion that new is better, gets his enchanter to ensorcel an elephant. However, this creature goes on a rampage, throwing its trunk around and hitting almost everybody. There's just one problem. The enchantment goes awry and anybody struck by the elephant's tusk or trunk becomes an animal themselves, their consciousness transferring to that of a different animal in the king's menagerie. The players are unfortunately a little too late in figuring this out, and now they must band together with the other sentient animals to capture the elephant, stop a number of larger pests, and return to their human bodies. I hope you all enjoyed this particular exercise. I thought this was actually pretty fun to do. Um, like I said, I haven't exactly delved back into that Magic the Gathering binder in about a year, uh, but I thought it was kind of interesting. Now, these were the three cards that I pulled, Cruel Ultimatum, Greenbelt, Rampager, and Dynavolt Tower. But if you're like me and you're somebody who is constantly trying to innovate or you're sort of looking for your next adventure hook or story idea, it can be a really good idea to just sort of whip out whatever is around you and use that for inspiration. You might have seen these images and these pictures, and you might have decided to create a wildly different adventure than the ones that I have made. And again, I've kept these purposely vague and away from any particular system or rule set so that you can use them in whatever adventures or whatever fantasy games that you would like to, whether those are games of Die or games of Lamentations of the Flame Princess or, of course, Dungeons and Dragons, if you're going to use it for those things. 
Um, if you liked this content, I would sincerely encourage you to give us a like, a share, a comment, a subscribe. I did something a little bit different with this particular video, and I kept things uh, a vague and a little more artsy than I usually do. Usually I present a little bit more on the statistics side of things, and we might be doing that again for the next video. But um, I saw this, and I can't remember the YouTuber who tried it, but I saw this, and I just love the idea, and I realized that I have like nine binders of magic cards that I haven't touched in about like a bajillion years. And so I thought it was kind of fun to go through and see what kind of cool stuff I could cook up um, when I just pulled three random cards. So until next time, I'm Kyle Lott for Desks and Dorks. Oh, and one more thing. If you really like this, the best ways to support us are liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Or if you really want to help us keep the lights on, uh, you can purchase our games from World of Game Design. Or if you're a PDF person, you can purchase them from itch.io. But until next time, folks, I'm Kyle Lott for Desks and Dorks. You all have been absolutely amazing. And I'll see you in the next one.